when working with API or HTTP web calls, you probably come across this error. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transform it into that error, which is the error that comes from the API, rather the one that comes from Parkway. Let's get started. Okay, so I could not show you these on the course that I just launched about how to work with APIs in Power BI. I put it here, you have a link down below, because the API returns the right error directly. Okay, so I have here a web API call that returns the Power Query generic error. What happens here is that you make a web call, it returns a list of records, it tries to open the response, it finds an empty table, and then it tells you, hey, I could not expand the table because there was nothing to expand. Sometimes the API will give you the data directly, and if that is the case and there is an error message, you will get the error message directly. But when the API is designed like this, that you get you know, some information about what is going on with API like paging or page token and things like that, you most likely are going to get this generic error from Power Query that is going to tell you basically that the API did not return anything. That's what it says. It returned an empty table and I cannot open it. Good. So this is not very good for the user or for you. So if you have designed something for your users, you want them to be able to tell you what the actual error is, you can fix it right away. Or if it is just for you, you want to know what the actual error is. What is the problem with this API call? So you want to return the error from the API rather than the error from Power Query. How do you do it? Well, it depends on how the API works. That's, that's the thing with APIs, they're all different. So in this case, we need to look at what's going on. So if we have a, for example, this is a wrong API token. If the API token is wrong, it returns, you can see here, a record that contains a record and the record is called token. And this is, it says, hey, uh, your API key is either missing or wrong. In this case, it's wrong. Lovely. So we want to get this message. If the API is correct, what you'll see is that it, this returns a list that is empty. <laughs> so again, you need to understand how your API works in order to do it. But for this case, this is what we're going to do. We're going to store the results of the error. So we're going to have errors. And this is going to be, we're going to um, get the results of the errors record in there. So we're going to have source. So the results from source open the record errors. Right? And then the response for that is going to be if value dot is. And then here, if you remember, if the API was able to return a result, the errors record contain an empty list. So we're going to check if this errors step, the previous step, is a list, type list. So value is returns true or false. So we want to check that is true. If it's true, it means that the errors record is an empty list. It means that it succeeded to retrieve the data. So we're going to then go to source, response. So open this record here, response. Else, if that is not the case, if that is not a list, if that is a record, then we got an error. And we want to return the record that is provided on the, you remember that this, if this was wrong, it returned a record called token. So that's what we want to get, errors token. And then click done. And because the API was correct, you can see that it works perfectly. But then if the API key is wrong, now it should give us the API error message rather than the Power Query one. So you see errors is now a record. The record is another record called token that contains the message. So if we go down, do you see the error? 
is given now the API error. One thing they are going to notice, if we close and apply these, unfortunately the error does not show in here. It's an empty error. But as soon as the users or yourself go to Power Query and you check, you will see here the actual error, so you can fix it right away. Oh, the API key is wrong, let's fix it. Yes, so this is all for today. Again, if you want to learn more about APIs, how to work with APIs in Power Query, Power BI, I have a course for you. It works with unauthenticated APIs and authenticated APIs with an API token, so you can start learning how to work with APIs. I will do more with more advanced authentications in the future. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.